Nani? Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, welcome to Everyday Nerd. I'm your host, Zach Snyder. Today's Monday nostalgia. Happy Monday. You're new around here on Mondays. We take a look at things from my personal childhood. Now, let's be real here. You boys ain't ready for this. The ramen noodle. It's a delicacy known mainly to college students and poor boys. It's also a pretty good summertime lunch when you have six kids to feed. And that's what my parents did. We had these during the summer all the time. Now this wasn't the only thing we had. We had raviolis. We had microwavable burritos. We had really healthy lunches a lot of times too. But the ramen noodle, Maruchan. This is an old favorite of mine. Now, I never stopped eating these noodles. In fact, in college, I got them a good bit. Now, in my own home, I have a pack of them. And considering I don't have a whole lot of money for food right now. We're going back to the basics. This peanut butter jelly, a couple of other things in my fridge and freezer. That's all I got to eat right now. So I decided let's take a look back at Maruchan's ramen noodle soup chicken flavor and see how well it tastes. We're gonna analyze it. We're gonna think about this food in a way I've never thought about it before. So let's get high. We need a bowl. Now, not just any regular bowl. We gotta have a microwavable bowl. So don't forget about that. I got these red bowls. Cost like a dollar at Walmart. It's perfect. Now, there's a couple ways that you can cook these. You can just take it out of the packet, put it in there, put some water, do it in there. A lot of people do it differently. Growing up, because there were so many of us and we needed to make multiple packets at once, what we would do is we break it, up, break it in half, break it in force, Take the noodles a little bit smaller and put it inside the bowl from there. You don't have to do this. This is just something that we used to do growing up. So I'm gonna do it for today's video. Now remember a very important step of cooking is to wash your hands. Who turned out the water? Now the next step of ramen noodles is look at the packaging and see what you gotta do. Boil two cups of water in a saucepan, add noodles and cook for three minutes, stirring occasionally. Turn off heat. Add contents of seasoning packet. Stir well for one minute until seasoning is fully dissolved. Mix two eight ounce servings. Product is very hot. Allow to cool, serve, and enjoy. Now, we're doing this in the microwave because that's how we used to do it. It's just gonna go in a regular bowl in the microwave. It's gonna be a lot easier than waiting 30 minutes to do that. I, I would rather wait five minutes for some ramen noodles than 30 minutes for some ramen noodles. Now, that's not to say that I can't make some kick-ass ramen because if you take these noodles, Put it in a pot on the stove, add in some actual real chicken, some soy sauce, some sesame oil, and some vegetables. You can make a really good bowl of ramen, but we're going old school. We're going just the packet of ramen, and that's what we're going to do. So first things first, we got to fill this thing up with water. Fill it up with just enough water so you can see the noodles in there are just barely covered with it. We don't want to fill it up too much because then the water ends up being too much and we don't want to fill it up too little because then you end up with dry noodles. We'll put it in there for four minutes, and now we wait. Now while we wait on the ramen to cook, we gotta get a couple of other things out of the refrigerator, make sure this bowl of ramen is really, really good. So first things first, you get your stick of butter. This is a great value brand, it's from Walmart. I think it cost me like $1.25, so there we go. Butter. My next favorite thing to put on ramen every once in a while is some hot sauce. Now usually I have a bottle of hot sauce, but since I'm broke and can't go afford it, we're gonna open up the little Ziploc baggie of extra hot sauce from Taco Bell. That's right, you gotta save it. Don't drop it on the floor. Now I'm a really big fan of the mild hot sauce. It's the one with the best. Now I'm a really big fan of the mild hot sauce. It's the one with the best taste. I like really, really, really spicy things. This isn't super spicy, but I really like the taste of this compared to the other kinds. So we're gonna get two packs of that out. Now this next thing is entirely optional, just like the hot sauce. And this wasn't something that I did as a kid, but this is something I've done over the last couple of years. I think it adds a little bit of a better taste to the regular old ramen. And that's soy sauce. Now, as you can tell, I don't have a whole lot in here. So after this, this, this is gonna get thrown away because I'll have no use for it. And we have one more thing to spice things up and that's called Parmesan cheese. 
Now I know what you're thinking, hot sauce, soy sauce, cheese, that sounds a little weird, but trust me, it's gonna taste good. Now with that out of the way, the microwave is done. Now this is a little trick that I like to do to get the bowl out of the microwave, and it's called get two paper towels so you don't burn your hands. And the ramen is done. Well, kind of. Obviously we still have to include the ingredients that we set aside, but it's not quite finished yet. Now this next step is another optional step because it really depends on your preference. Personally, I don't mind water in my ramen noodle because it is called ramen noodle soup, but because I'm adding these other ingredients and there's some wet stuff there and the butter is gonna really help make the noodles good, I don't really want all this water in here. So I'm gonna go take this to the microwave, that's how that's really hot. First things first is the butter. I know you may be thinking, what about the seasoning? We're gonna add that in a second. I like to add a little bit of butter, not too much, because I'm not Paula Deen, just enough to really make it nice and soft and good. Then I add my wet stuff. So all this soy sauce, I guess I don't have much of it. We're gonna go ahead and add all the rest of that in there since I'm gonna throw this away in a second. Then we're gonna add in the hot sauce. Um, we might just only do one packet. I'm only filling one packet today. And finally, before we add the Parmesan cheese, we're gonna add the seasoning. At this point, you wanna grab a fork and stir it all up. Remember to make sure you get the seasonings in there good, the hot sauce, the soy sauce. It's still a little bit too watery for my liking, but since we did add the wet stuff in there, I'm gonna be fine with it. It's gonna be okay. You really wanna make sure that the butter is melted, like my heart. And uh, as soon as all that's stirred up and good, we'll be good to add the Parmesan cheese. Now again, I didn't do all this when I was growing up. Really, it was just mainly the noodles, a little bit of hot sauce every once in a while. But a lot of this stuff comes from college because when you're broke, you can't afford food, you really just start experimenting and trying new things. And here's a new thing right here. Fortunately, the bowl is not as high as it once was, but it's now time to get a little taste of the noodles. It's still a little hot though, so hold on one second. Now it's time to taste a bit of the noodles. Get a little bit on there. Got the right consistency I'm looking for, and... Now I don't know if this is the best thing I've had all day because of the flavors and the chicken seasoning mixed with the richness of the soy sauce, the little bit of spice from the Taco Bell hot sauce, and the Parmesan cheese just adding that little extra touch of flavor. I don't know if it's that or it's because it's the first thing I've ate all day, but this is definitely the best thing I've had all day. Get a nice amount in there. Mm. Mm. These are some noodles worth mukbanging about. In all seriousness, I think what's so great about the Marichan ramen noodles is not only are they inexpensive, but you can really do a lot with them. You don't have to be stuck by just the seasoning packet inside. You can do more with it. It can be made in the microwave. It can be made on the oven. You can add in real chicken broth, real chicken, vegetables, and make something great out of it, or just adding a little bit of extra time to your prep time and add butter, hot sauce, soy sauce, and Parmesan cheese and still have something really tasty. This isn't a meal that you're gonna eat all the time, but if you're on a budget and you're just trying to make something quickly, it's perfect for that. Well, I guess I'm a sellout now. Today's episode of Your Everyday Nerd is brought to you by the Your Everyday Nerd Patreon. I love making this show, and one of the biggest challenges that I currently have is that I can't dedicate as much time to the show as I would like to. As a freelance video editor, a lot of my time goes to editing for other people so that I can do that thing called paying bills. But I really do believe that Your Everyday Nerd has a lot of potential to be something bigger and greater, and that's why I'm asking for your help. If you've been enjoying the show and wondered how can I support this show as much as possible, the Patreon is where it's at. My main goal for this Patreon was to give you something in return for your money. This is not just a donation service. Every single tier has something in addition to your regular Your Everyday Nerd episodes. For only $3 a month, you'll have access to Patreon-only content like lists, extra reviews, and behind the scenes. You'll be credited in the end card of new episodes, and you can suggest a topic on my show, Let's Talk About It, over on my second channel, where I'll talk about whatever it is you want me to talk about. And have access to the Patreon-only Discord channel. Thank you again for watching and for supporting your everyday nerd. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, go ahead that like button. For reason you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on Marichan ramen noodles are. Do you want to see more food reviews on the show? Let me know down in the comments. 
If you like the show, go hit that subscribe button from Warrior Everyday Nerd. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. I'm gonna finish my lunch now.